everyone today i want to be showing you guys how i make my beef and rice jollof okay guys i'll be showing you how i make my beans and rice jollof okay here guys i have my water boiling on my pot already so i'll be adding my beans i've already washed my beans okay i'll be adding my beans and cover it to cook right now guys okay okay as you can see guys my beef is almost cooked it's almost done it's cooked now as you can see now i want to add my rice i parboiled this rice i wash and parboiled it okay I want to add my rice and turn it okay now i'll be adding the stock water i got from my boy the momo i boiled my momo so this is the stock water i got from it I'm adding it to the rice and beef. Now I will be adding my salt, a little bit of salt. Okay, I'll be adding my salt to it. Uh, I use what I use in boiling my kumamon. The ingredients I use in boiling it is uh, I use onions, I use um, curry, I use thyme, and I use a uh, Maggi seasoning and salt. That's what that is what I use in boiling my my pomo. So I've add the top water of my pomo to my beef and rice. Turn it and I will leave it to cook a little bit. Okay. Now I will be making the stew I will use for my beans and rice. My pot is already on the fire. I will be adding my vegetable oil. As you can see, I'll leave it for like three seconds. Now my oil is hot. Now I'll be adding my onion. Wow! I will leave my onion for some time to fry. After leaving my onions to fry for a while, now I will be adding my my tomato and my blended onion, and now my sliced fresh pepper. So I don't like to blend my fresh pepper when making this uh, rice and beef stew. I just like to chop off my fresh pepper. Okay, depends on how you like it. If you don't like to cut your or uh, your pepper you can blend it i will leave my my tomatoes to fry a little bit for like two minutes after leaving it for two minutes guys so i'll be adding my cooked for more i'll be adding my cooked for more and i will also be adding my dry fish this is my dry fish and now i'll be adding this is my uh, fresh fish i dried it in my oven so if you like if, if you don't like to dry it in your oven you can fry it depends on how you like it now i will be adding my crayfish my crayfish i will be adding my my time a little bit of my time not much i will be adding my curry powder i'll be adding my nutmeg and i will also be adding my maggi seasoning i will turn it now guys i've turned everything together as you can see i don't need to add salt anymore in my stew because i already added salt to my rice and beans 
when I was cooking, cooking my rice and peas, so I don't need to add salt to my stew anymore. So if you feel like the salt you added to your rice and beef is not enough, it depends on you. You can add more salt to your to your stew. Now I will be covering it for like three minutes to to cook. Now guys, after leaving it for three minutes, wow, look at that guys. It looks so yummy. Now my stew is ready. My stew is ready. Now guys, this is my cooked rice and bread. I'm about to mix my stew with my rice. I have removed the fish <laughs> from the stew because I don't want my fish to cut out. So I have removed my fish from the stew. Now, I will turn everything together. Guys, I've turned everything together. I will be adding my separated fish and momo that I removed from my stew. I've added it. Now, I will cover my rice and beans for like five seconds because we don't have to leave it in the fire longer than five seconds now because everything is ready. I just want all, all my stew to steam to my rice, okay? To my rice and beans. This is how I make my rice and beans. If you have anything to say, Please drop it down below the comment section. I will be there to answer you. Ciao! Thank you.